What's up, YouTube? It's Heretic here. Um, that was Mari. Um, all right. So, all right, fine. It'll be a blooper. So, uh, we're looking at another expanded format deck here today. Uh, since regionals is the next big tournament on the horizon, league challenges and pre-releases excluded, of course. Pre-releases for Fates Collide start this weekend. Looking forward to doing some pack openings for that. Um, and that most likely craptacular little 22 card thing they're putting in there now that's probably going to be full of tiernos and potions okay. but um in any case we're looking at uh a uh, Verizian genesect or virgin deck um with the addition of max elixir and breakpoint just, just to kind of refuel the engine make it make this deck a little bit faster than it always has been uh, to kind of help it keep up with with the metagame so this is the list we have, and uh, we're going to go ahead and go through this card by card and see what we have. Okay, so I nicknamed the deck Speedy Virgins just because I could, I guess. Um, but anyway... They do tend to go quickly. <laughs> um, okay, so we've got three Genesect DX. This is our primary attacker. Uh, Red Signals... I mean, this card is always the same as always. Red Signal being able to uh, essentially use an attachment of a plasma energy onto this guy as a Lysander. Really awesome. Uh, it was, I guess when it first came out, people were like, it's good, but it's not great. And then Catcher got nerfed to a coin flip, and people were like, oh my god, Genesect's amazing. <laughs> Which it is. Megalocan is not too shabby either for 3 energy. It does 100. You do 20 to something on their bench. It's a plasma Pokemon, so you can use Deoxys to jack up the damage, which is actually going to be pretty relevant here. Um, then we got Verizian EX. Per Verdant Wind protects us from stuff like Excelgore, Status Cons, and Hypnotoxic Laser. And then we get Emerald Slash, get a couple energy on there. Like, say if we go second, you could uh, you could have one on the bench, use a Max Elixir, get an energy there, attach one from hand, do a quick retreat, and then uh, Emerald Slash, two Grass Energies onto a Genesect or something else, if you really wanted to charge up something else. Um, we got two Shaman EX to uh, draw cards from our deck, because that's what Shaman does. And we got two Deoxys EX. Now this is a big deal because one Deoxys alone lets us hit 110 damage with uh, Megalocannon, which is enough to knock out Shaman EX. It lets us hit 120 with a Fighting Fury Belt, but if we have two Deoxys and a Fighting Fury Belt, we hit 230. The other reason I like to run two is because if we use G Booster on our Genesect, we lose the extra 10 from Fury Belt, so then with two Deoxys, we can still one-shot the mighty Mega Rayquaza, the colorless one that sees play in expanded format, whereas with only one Genesect, we would not be able to do that, unless you wanted to play like Faded Town or something, but I like Sky Arrow Bridge as my stadium of choice a little too much in this deck for that. So we play two Deoxys. And Tentacle Porn Art. I'm not, I don't have anything for that. Um, <laughs> we play one Hoopa as well. Um, I decided to visit uh, King Hoopa's castle. Bowser wasn't there, so we got this guy instead. Uh, he pulls all our EXs from the deck. So we got Energy Switch. It's just lets you, essentially lets you max elixir onto your active. You max elixir onto your bench and then you move it up to the active. Or maybe you just retreat and then you move some an energy from a Verizian to a Genesect or you G booster and you discard energy so you can just recharge faster. It's like pseudo acceleration. Uh, we play Super Rod to put uh, or to put grass energy mainly back into the deck after it gets discarded when stuff gets killed so that Verizian can reaccelerate and Max Elixir can reaccelerate because we need energy in the deck in order to get those effects. Uh, for Max Elixir, this card is really just so good in so many decks as long as you run enough basic energies. Um, I feel like I just made a cursive S there with my, uh, <laughs> with my cursor there. But, um, anyway, just looking at the top six cards of your decks, attaching a basic energy card there to a basic Pokemon on your bench, just such a powerful effect. Excuse you. Sorry. No, you're not. Um, really good card, though. And then four VS Seekers, pretty much self-explanatory. One Tool Scrapper, mainly for Team Flare tools, can also be effective against stuff like Focus Sash. And, uh, so there's maybe another Pokemon tool that might be holding you down. Maybe a Silver Mirror that might be blocking Genesect if we don't have G-Booster handy. That, say what you want, go ahead and laugh. A year, a year and a half ago, that happened to me at Fort Wayne Regionals. A Don fan player slapped a Silver Mirror onto his Don fan. And we ended up with a tie because of it. 
unfortunately, I still <laughs> made day two and ended up getting top four at that That's region. That's why we play Megaphone. Or, or Tool Scrapper. Yes. Because like, this can get rid of Ellie, our... you need it in every deck. This can get rid of the stupid uh, flare tools on our Pokemon, so yeah. Um, it also deals with Garbodor, if we were to see it. Uh, four Ultra Ball, because I don't really dig the Plasma Ball tech in this deck. I never actually did, so I just stick with four Ultra Ball. Uh, one Flare Grunt, or sorry, Flare Grunt. Oh my god, I'm really losing it now. Uh, Shadow Triad. Get a Plasma Energy back for a late game Red Signal. You could also get a, a uh, Genesect back out of the discard pile or a Deoxys. Um, or if you're really, really, really desperate, you could get a Colrus back for next turn. I've actually done that once or twice. Badass, though. Um, three ends, just for Shuffle, Draw, and Disruption altogether. It's like Judge, but better. More cards early game, drop your opponent to one or two cards late game. It's pretty good. Uh, one Skyla, just to be able to search out Energy Switch, Max Elixir, or whatever, Skyro Bridge, whatever you need. Worst case scenario, a supporter for next turn or a VS Seeker. Uh, one Colrus for massive draw power. Hoopa just makes this guy go bonkers. Um, let me play uh, Lysander. We, even though we have Red Signal, sometimes we run under Ability Lock or we get Hex Maniac or something, so we want to be able to have another form of... Uh, Lysander's effect, hence use Lysander. So um, he's he's pretty darn good, and uh, probably gonna stay that way as long as he's legal. I don't see this card ever not being played while it's in format. Um, four Junipers, because for some reason I'm not playing Sycamore in this deck. I guess because it's online, it really doesn't matter. Just for the record, in real life, when I do, if I were to play Junipers and not Sycamores, it, this is the art I end up playing. Although I usually play the black and white base ones because I have Mirror Rev Hollows, but whatever. Um, three Skyro Bridges, because this makes Frizian, Genesect, Shaman all have free retreat. Uh, Deoxys's retreat, com Deoxys retreat com goes down to one, as does Hoopas, so easily affordable. Um, I'm going to see it twice because I have two Rev Hollows and one non-Rev Hollow are the only Sky Arrows I have in this game. Uh, three Fighting Fury Belts. Extra HP and the extra 10 damage is pretty darn nice to have. Works out nice mathematically along with Deoxys for Verizian's Emerald Slash and then getting a, a finishing KO with Genesect's Megalo Cannon attack. And then we play G-Booster for the big attack when you need to just auto-kill something at full health. Um, the four Plasma Energies. Additional Lysanders, if you will. And 10 basic grass energies. And that, I know that's a high count, but with Max Elixir and Verizion and all that stuff, you got to make sure you have enough of those. So 14 energies is definitely a lot for the current format, but it, we, we make it work. So we're going to go ahead and test this puppy out. What's up, guys? Okay, so we're going against a water deck. That's usually a pretty good sign for a grass deck. Um, all right, so Froakie deck box. Are we, are we, yeah, I was just going to say, we're about to see an expanded Greninja deck. Maybe it's that Glalie deck we saw last night. <laughs> I actually had a Mega Glalie hit me for 250 last night. I was uh, a little out of it, shall we say. Billy Choi. Well, we got a mulligan. That sucks. My hand wasn't that great, I guess, anyway. Ultra Ball could have gotten us Hoopa, maybe, but... Going second, though, it's kind of tough to say. It's tougher to gauge looking at your first hand if you know it's how bad it is or not going second compared to going first. Because Especially with Cole Risk, because your opponent could just lay something down that... I don't know. They could put, like, three or four Pokemon on your bench, and then all of a sudden that Hoopa gives you a six or seven card Cole Risk. So he starts a Mana Fee. I like the idea of just E-slashing that thing for a knockout. He plays a red card. Now, we had a no-supporter hand, so that's okay. He and demands. all of a sudden, we have su we have a supporter. I'm cool with that. So, we see a Rough Seas come down, and he attaches energy, and he plays an N. So, he red cards us, then he plays an N. <laughs> so, our, so, now we don't know if we're going to have a supporter again or not. Why well, play both? Okay, well, we still have supporters. This is actually a lot better, because we get Elixir, and then he's... <laughs> oh, my goodness. Come on, man. And now we have Garbage. So he red carded us out of a bad hand into a good one, end us out of a good hand into another good hand, and then red carded us out of that good hand into another bad hand. So we're back where we started. Quit playing games with my Okay, that's okay. We drew an Ultra Ball. We're good. 
Um, yeah, we just throw those two. We don't really need them. And let's go grab that Hoopa. You better not be in the prizes. Thank you. Jeez. Alrighty, so we're going to search for Genesect. Genesect. Deoxys. No, that's not, a, that's not a good idea. You don't need Deoxys. No, I don't. And I was about to make a really bad misplay because I need a Shaman. Catch me. stuff too. Well, this is also going to be a full bench here. Well, he doesn't care about catcher. He's sniping stuff. He's a, mm, he, he's, right. he's a Greninja. You're a Greninja. I wish. I wish I was as cool as Greninja. Ash's Greninja? No, yuck. Gross. <laughs> Ash Greninja EX, people. But you could also never age like Ash. Oh, God. Oh, are you kidding? I whiffed it? Yep. I had the E switch and everything to go with that. Um, alright, well, let's do it. We're, we're gonna try to make this happen anyway. We're gonna end him up two cards to try and hit another elixir and, and that E switch again. Oh, alright. So, we just got, we gotta, we gotta not whiff. Now, we got, unless the, ex, with the exception of prizes, we've got eight grass energies left still. One attached, one in hand. Don't miss twice. Dun. There we go. Okay. So, we just throw it. I should have thrown it on the Hoopa just for fun. We're gonna move that up there, and we're gonna go ahead and e slash his Manaphy for a knockout. Get an early two prize lead. Okay, three. Okay, so we actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We actually did prize two Grass Energies this game. I remember you, you prizing like three of them when I played VG a long time ago. Oh, that doesn't really help our situation at hand, but all he's got is a Froki. So granted, we're probably gonna see water duplicates here, but. You've seen worse VG prizes. Oh god, yeah, he red carded again. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, the, the regional when, when, when my opponent prized uh, all four of his Virizian Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Oh man, I wish I could say that, that. I wish that didn't happen, but I kind of won because of it, so can't complain. Well, now I don't get to uh, red signal because he kind of lysandered. So I have to use one of these plasma energies to retreat, and there go all the frogadiers. So we'll attach that. I'm not even gonna bother playing the end because I'll just get red carded again. Again. Yeah. Again. So we'll e slash for a knockout. We'll put two energy on the other Genesect. Pretty much just get a fully set up board here now. We get a VS Seeker off the prizes. That's pretty good. Although all we have in there is an N, apparently, so that's not as good. Those Junipers were only in our hand until they got reshuffled on the first turn. Three times, I might add. So he plays an Evo Soda. So I guess a counter to uh, Archeops, not too bad. Uh, we don't play any Evolutions in here, so Archeops could be fun. Of course, our only way around Jolteon is G-Booster. So we're going to see a Greninja come out, and... Okay, so he's gonna go and get the Water Shuriken one. I guess concealing abilities only does so much in this matchup. So he's gonna use Water Shuriken to put 30 damage down. And if I recall, his attack actually ignores resistance. So he's gonna do the full 50, or 70 if he has a Muscle Band. So he just attaches an energy, but you might notice he's got no hand now. So he can go ahead and launch that attack. But... Okay, and he's just gonna forfeit there because we can just basically we can just roll from there. We've got free retreat, and he's got really nothing to set up. So that's gonna be game one, and we're gonna go ahead and play another one with this and see what we can come up with. Okay, so we're gonna play an two underdog match. Moonib. Who has two beards? Yes, he does. Grass, psychic, steel. Uh, Vespaquin, vile plume with. No, you know what? He's playing the same deck I am. He's just got a Jirachi in there. Mm. Jirachi EX. Mm. Yeah. Oh, this ought to be interesting. While wow, riding on that coin flip, although not as much as it used to be. Could still be Vespi Plume, but I, I'm going to call this one a mirror match. Nah, eh, you got it. I know I did. Nine tails, yo. Well, that means maybe we can get a, a, a T1 attack here. Oh, good grief! If only I had another Pokemon. All I right, guess that's what Sky was for. Maybe he'll be nice and put the 
the uh, stadium down for us. If I only had a Pokemon. So, yep, mirror match. There's the Genesect. It'd be something to get a turn one G booster. I mean, I could be easily staring at a turn one uh, Hoopa play here with Skyla. So, we're going to see. Oh, God. Is he getting a Getsis? <laughs> nope. Aww. Okay, good. Good. No Getsis. No Getsis. My Skyla's better than yo Skyla. I actually do like the regular art, though. Yeah, she's not shoving out her boobs as far as possible. It's fan service airlines. They call it that for a reason. I know. Her, her back is at like a 90 degree angle. Yeah, no, it's like an impossible pose practically. Yeah. Kind of like the boundaries crossed Keldeo. Big boobies, tiny butt. My hoop is better than your hoopa too. Tin promo hoopas. Well, yeah, but it also shows off its bracelet bling more than that one. Look at that. Look at those blings. It's like sacrilege, you know. I'm not. I'm not a fan of the full art hoopa, and apparently that's horrible to the Pokemon community. I like regular pack art. It's like Thunderous EX Team Plasma. I'll only play the regular pack art because every the other two, the promo and the full art, I don't want to play them because they actually look like a Thunderous, and I don't like what Thunderous looks like, especially not Therian form. It's like crap. Unlike the other two, Therian forms on Landers and Tornadus look awesome. So he's going to load up his bench and pass his turn. And sadly, we did not draw Pokemon. So we're going to Skyla here. Go grab an Ultra Ball. And we have the better looking Ultra Ball here. So we can throw these out and go grab the better looking Hoopa. Showing off that arm bling. Now, if only we had the better looking Genesect. I maintain this Virizion does look better than the, uh, than the other one, BT Dubs. Personal opinion. Uh, Genesect. I don't think I'm too worried about Hoopa. Do, however, want one of those. <sighs> Alright, so Genesect. Genesect. Now, I don't know where this energy's going yet. Ugh. Missed one. Oh, come on. Are you, are, are you kidding me? I mean, I discarded one energy and I've got one in hand. We're not going to miss three of these darn things. Yay. All right, got so one. we hit one. So maybe we hit an E-switch. We are going to get a full six cards off this Shaman, but we've already played a supporter, so that's... Yeah, we didn't get the E-switch. Uh, all right, whatever. I realize I'm recklessly throwing away VS Seekers, which is generally considered not smart, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not happening. Alright, so he's got a Muscle Band over here, so we can go ahead and scrap that off of there. Might have saved it for a G-Booster. Wouldn't have been a bad idea. Computer doesn't seem to want to load this uh, playing of a Tool Scrapper. Because it agrees with me. It's trying to tell you not to do it. It's too late for that. Um, well, life sucks. Move on. God. How do you, uh, if I'd have hit all three of those, I could have just, G I could have just Megalo cannoned him. Free, or, or not free, I'd have paid the retreat cost. You knew that dude was on the other side, like, about to poop his pants. Yeah, until he saw me every whiff time, twice. Every time he saw you lay down a max elixir. And now we're only down to one. Oh, he just hit his max elixir. But he put it on the Genesect. That's interesting. Are we going to see just a red signal here, or is he just... Okay, so he's going to end, so we don't know what he's got yet. So we draw our fourth elixir here, but we got two more energies in our hand. Two on the board and one. There's only five left. Five out of 29. That's about one out of six. So he plays a Colorus Machine, puts an energy from his hand down on the Verizion. So we'll see if he attached to the active here. Yep, so he can retreat. So no Sky Arrow, it looks like. And we're going to see an E-Slash here. For just 50. Now there's no... Okay, well, yeah, okay. So he'd still... Yep, he gets two more here. That's got three on it now. Uh, 
Okay, we do manage to get one this time, so we'll go ahead and throw that on there. Attach up here. Add the Fighting Fury belt. And we'll... Oh, jeez, let's see. Do I want to end right now? It's Skyla. Oh, I don't have the end on there anyway. The VS Seeker for the Skyla. And play it to do something I don't like doing, and that is grabbing a Juniper off Skyla. Probably should have got Colrus, but whatever. So we'll Emerald Slash for 60 here. And the Fighting Fury Belt is a big deal, because now he can't just go Muscle Band, Genesect, Knockout. So we're going to charge up the second Genesect here, so they'll both have two energy. Because then we can just use the last energy in our hand to go ahead and get to a third one. And I can be pretty comfortable with where we're at in that situation here, even though he's got one that already has three energy on it. So it looks like we're both going to have a pair of fully charged Genesects, and so it's going to come down to where the first red signal play comes from then. Or Lysander. Instead, he just attaches a fourth one to that one Genesect, which so maybe a sign of G-Booster to come. So we see Skyla. He gets the Shadow Triad. That can get the Plasma Energy back on his next turn. So we see another Emerald Slash. 50 more damage. Definitely bringing the KO range closer. So we'll probably see two energies go over here now. Yep. So. We see that. Now we got an Energy Switch here. We also got Super Rod. Which is, which is a legitimate card to have right about now. Now we got to be careful... Let's see. We can go ahead and energy switch one of these energies here over to a Genesect because I'm, I'm actually going to end up discarding this one. Because I'd like to be able to attach a Plasma if necessary here. So we're going to super rod those two back into the deck. And then we're going to play a Professor Juniper here and try to hit a Plasma and we're going to miss. So go figure. Alrighty. So, not a lot we can really do about that. We do have the Fighting Fury Belt, however. So we can use the Fighting Fury Belt and actually get a knockout here. And we can go ahead and slap another energy on there as well. And do we have a Plasma in here? No, we don't. Okay. So we can Megalo here and actually thinking we're going to do the 20 over to this one because that other one is going to be g-booster target more than likely so we'll get a couple of prize cards there so we get the first prize card but we have to bring up the genesect in in order to do so so hopefully when he grabbed that triad last turn that meant that his booster was prized we can we can, one can certainly hope that that is indeed the case. And just kind of wait on the incoming N. I didn't want to put the G-Booster down just to watch it get tool scrappered away and forced to use Triad when I don't have a Plasma in hand. So we see an Ultra Ball here. So he's going to throw away an Energy Recycler. Interesting idea. And a Lysander. I'm guessing he's got the plasma energy here. He grabs another Verizion. The plasma energy is one thing, however. The G-Booster is something else. Something else entirely. Still potentially a supporter for the turn. Instead, we just see a Megalo Cannon. So he's going to hit us for 100 damage. Maybe. And we're going to see there where that go. 20 goes. Okay. Looks like he was aiming for a while, trying to figure out, get, to get his aim locked onto that bench, uh, Verizion. Okay. So again, I really don't want to have to be attaching that right now. This thing's still got 90 HP, so it can still hang around a bit, but... Then again, the Genesect we want to knock out is already up in the active, so, uh... I guess I'm okay not laying that down. We'll go ahead and lay the booster down instead. 
and we'll play a Juniper and try to hit that silly Skyro bridge. There it is. And we'll go ahead and just do a free retreat, and we will G-Booster for 200 and the knockout. So we'll claim a couple of prize cards that way. And that'll put us ahead by four prize cards, which is a pretty darn good position to be in, considering Genesect is one energy away from another G-Booster attack, and we have another Genesect just kind of chilling there. Kind of wishing we didn't have that Fighting Fury Belt on the first one now, though. So we could just VS Seeker and uh, Shadow Triad the booster. But we could just Lysander, Shaman, or Jirachi, I guess. So that's fine. So we see another Max Elixir come down. And he whiffs this one. Okay. So he plays a Shadow Triad. What does he even have? Chorus Machine. Okay, he gets a Plasma Energy. All right. So he's going to have a Red Signal here. Maybe Red Signal to Hoopa? Stall out? No, nope, he's bringing he's bringing the Verizian out. So he's so he can, he's gonna get a knockout. I curi I'm curious why he's knocking this out and not the other Genesect. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna assume a mystical because I don't get it. Yeah, I would definitely try to knock out the other uh, the other uh, Genesect in that situation or stall with the Hoopa. But in any case, we're just gonna go ahead and G booster again. Just blow stuff to smithereens and claim a W. Alrighty. So there's another one. So, uh, it's what we call the codename Speedy Virgins. Like, like Mari said, they go quick. So, um, yeah. So that's, uh, you gotta look at a mirror match there. You gotta, well, that Greninja game. Just kind of whatever. So, uh. I think we could probably cut it off here, but we're going to go ahead and give you one more. Okay, so it looks like we're going up, up against Evil ghost. Tall. Yeah, our, uh, our opponent's a little ghostly. He's feeling a little pale. Maybe a little, uh, I don't know. Alright, let's see. I mean, geez, why do you need sunglasses when you're that pale? My goodness, you could use a little tan. Uh, alrighty. Let's go first. Yeah! I have to remember, though, that in, the, in Expanded, they can actually Evil Ball on turn one. Where's the sleeves? Oh, you're, I'm starting Hoopa? Yeah, you're my Hoopa. Government Hoopa. He just wants to show off his bling, okay? Yeah, but why am I starting with him? He wants to show off his bling. God, I don't even want to put a Fury Belt on that thing. Can you that imagine like how waste. many gold carrots that do it anyway. bracelet is worth? I should tool scrap for my own Fury Belt. Nah. Get the one energy so I can get out of the act. Oh, here. Hey, look at that. Can I just play the second one and take that other energy that was there? Yeah. That'd be awesome. Oh, I whiffed. Um. Uh, yeah, we're going to do it. I'm going to get the Verizion. I hope he doesn't have a delinquent. Protect ourselves from hypnotoxic, hypnotoxic urination. Don't want to get lasered into uh, sleep. We see a battle compressor come down. Going for the Gallade? Yeah, he might be. Wouldn't be a bad play. I mean, 150 is kind of awkward math for this deck to hit in one shot without having to use G Booster, as in it can't be done. And, uh. It is only worth one prize. Trades well. So we see two Darkness and a Maxis going to the discard pile. That's also very good. So we see another Ultra Ball. He discards Gallade and a Full Art Maxis. Aww. Oh, full Art Maxi Pads. So yeah, my guess is Gallade's coming out right now. There's Evil Tall the X. All too familiar with him. So we see a Trainer's Mail for a Fighting Fury Belt. He could realistically put that on either one of his Pokemon. 
So he puts it on the evil Tali Axe, plays the Shaman, but he's going to draw with it. Oh, okay, maybe he's not going to So that last light. card... Okay, so we see a Verbank come down. Boo. Oh, it sucks, but... I mean, it could have been worse. We could have gotten delinquented. Still could, technically, but I think he would have done that before he played the Burbank. We see Hoopa get tossed away along with a Lysander. Does another shame in here. He's still digging for that turn one Maxis play. So we see Dark Patch come out onto Evil Tall EX. Yep. Because you can't Dark Patch to a Shaman. And we see a Sycamore, so an N, a Compressor, a Hex Maniac. Okay, more energy. We see Gold Trainer's Mail comes down, grabs him another Fighting Fury Belt. So he's got one for his active Evil Tall now. Keldeo comes down. Ooh, that's bait. And then he took so long that time was called. Oh, I know, right? 15 minutes into, 15 minutes into Night March and chill. Three energies now on that Evil Tall EX and another Battle Compressor still going. At least we know he played Sycamore, so we're not seeing d the uh, dreaded delinquent that he may or may not be running. He kept going and going and Energizer going. Energizer Bunny. So he passes the turn. Actually, but we get VS gone. Seeker. So we're just going to go ahead and play the Juniper. Alrighty. So what are we going to do with this one? We don't have a we don't have our uh, our precious stadium card now. So it'd be kind of cool if we get an elixir or something. Let's go ahead and do that for now. Shaman. We are going to need Deoxys eventually. Um, the question is, do I really want to do that? Just remember the G-Booster dilemma. Yeah, I know. So I like, I have the Scrapper, but... Actually, no, I don't. I discarded it on the first turn. Okay, so there's the Booster. Um... So we're gonna, so we can go ahead and attach there. We are still gonna need to find a way to to get a uh, Skyro Bridge though. So we see another Sycamore from our opponent. He discards an Ultra Ball and yet another Sycamore. So that should be three Sycamores in his discard pile already. We see four compressors go down. He puts a Flowstone on his uh, Keldeo, attaches a Darkness to Evil Tall, and we see a forty damage Oblivion Wing come down. He gets a fourth energy on that bench, Evil Tall EX. So he's hitting. The Evil Tall itself counting as 20. He's hitting 110 there. So that'd be 150 with what we're looking at here. So we can go ahead and attach the G Booster. We do need to hit a Deoxys, which is something we can use this for. We can do that, and now we're banking on hitting a Sky Arrow in 7 out of 23 cards here. So we're going to do the red signal. We're going to bring the Evil Tall EX forward. And then play the Juniper for 7. And miss. However, well, I guess we, we still have Shaman as an opportunity here. So let's, uh, let's, not, let's not extinguish hope yet. Go ahead and play that. Let's grab one of those energies. I guess we can throw this somewhere. Looks like we're only getting two cards off of this, though. That's not going to do it. I told you you should have had four. So, the two Sky Arrows, but we miss it. And so now, really, all he needs is a VS Seeker. And he's pretty much got this game in the bag. And if not, then, well, in that instance, he can simply rush in and retreat with Keldeo. So we missed pretty hard there. And our Genesect is more than likely about to get blown to smithereens. He's got more than I care to, to know there. Yeah, okay, so he's going to play the Jirachi, go get his second copy of Lysander. He gets a Colrus instead. Yay! And he plays it, so he's going to get a 10-card hand out of this, but more importantly, he is not going to knock out the Genesect. Woo! And, sir, you can have the Hoopa. 
I am more than content with you knocking out the Hoopa as long if you if that means you don't kill the Genesect. So Keldeo will do its duty, rush in, take a free retreat cost into Evil Tall, who will then Oblivion Wing 40 more damage. And let's see, it doesn't look like he had any energy to accelerate. So we're just gonna use this uh, plasma energy here and pay that annoying double retreat cost to bring Genesect up. We're going to use Lysander. And our opponent's going to forfeit. Okay, so there we go. Woo! So three for three. Now that was a little... We, had, we definitely had a little bit of luck there on our opponent not having that play. But um, nonetheless, uh, speedy virgins do their job in this case. <laughs> I realize how horrible that sounds. But um, so Parisian Genesect takes us to a 3-0 record. And so that's what I've got for you guys right now. We'll have more material back for you guys tomorrow, and I hope you guys enjoyed this one. So if you have uh, recommendations on something you'd like to see, go ahead and place it in the comments down below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Cheers. What's up, YouTube? Oh, it's Herit. <laughs> <laughs>